Come away, come away if you're going. Leave a sinking ship behind. Ah, uh, there's nothing like machining your own parts. No need to depend on some catalog. Come on and rise the Sun's out, guns out. We're going up around the best. I've been trying to learn the lyrics of that song. Someone told me the cult burned Sunrise Farm to the ground. Serves the owners right for selling out to John. I bet the cult's just helping themselves to all that food now. Um, we're actually gonna go and do the Widowmaker. Or actually, let's do Jerome's first. The good cemetery. Look this over in that direction. I just see a vehicle. Uh, yes. Whatever you say, sir. Where's my loot? Don't worry about it. Uh, so. Um, uh, yeah, can't really buy any cars yet. Oh! Let's buy that. Then let's make it. Oh, great. Oh, my wheels pop up. We'll buy all the skins for this one. You know what? <laughs> we'll give it a little boss. <laughs> uh, boss is, um, wait, hold on. Let me get this one back. Boss is the main antagonist for uh, Far Cry 3, I think. I'm not interested in actually playing the other Far Cries, so, like, ooh, what you doing, Dippy? I'm not interested in really playing the other Far Cry, so I, don't bother asking me. Uh, reason for it is there's stuff in Far Cry 3 that I know is in there. I took it down. Nothing like a joyride. Oh, well. Next time I respawn it, then we'll put it back in, but there's stuff in Far Cry 3 I don't really like. The only thing that interests me in Far Cry 4 is the fact that I like the main antagonist for that, who's no this guy named Pagan Man. And, um... <laughs> Aww, poor Sharky. But, um, yeah, no, I'm not gonna play the other Far Cry's. However, after New Dawn, I do plan on playing Borderlands 2. I've never played Borderlands before, so that will be a blind, not only just a blind let's play, but a blind let's play where you actually get to hear me talk, because it'll be Borderlands. And since Borderlands 3 is coming out, I figure it's about time I actually play Borderlands 2. So that'll be fun. I also just realized that this is a sneaking mission, so I don't have any stealth weapons. So unless we can run into a guy who's selling me shit then pretty much you're not going to. Also, John hasn't yelled at me yet, and that makes me sad. I wanna I wanna talk to my boy. I wanna see my son. But he's avoiding me, and that makes me mad. Come on, John, you've been avoiding anime for three years. You can't really avoid her much longer. Yeah, they uh I'm getting my shuffle on that right here. sweet meta anime John Moore is uh John and anime, they they stopped being friends three years before this game happens. No, we got the target. Like I said, I put it, I put it in the timeline between Absolution, like just after Absolution, probably like a within a couple weeks after that happened. Just enough for anime to know that Drew died and that shit went down with Mary May. Um, Deputy, it's Pastor Jerome. If you're getting close to Woodson's pig farm, be careful. Cultists will kill the hostages if they lay eyes on you. You gotta attack quietly. It's their best chance at survival. It's okay. Actually, wait. If that's the case, I'm bringing Grimmer with me. Oh, uh, okay. Peace out. This. Honey, it's me. Are you with the kids? Yes. <laughs> Told them about how, uh, you know, we, we talked it over and that while the offer was generous, we were gonna pass. And, uh, I don't know. It went south. He said we'd all been locked. Then he said he'd help me. He'd come and blow our house down. <laughs> 
That's a little shit. All I know is it gave me the chills. We should talk to Pastor Jerome. He's got a few lines with the seeds. I'm home in 20. Funny. Alright, goodbye now. If you're reading this, then we are already gone. Woodson's pig farm is officially closed. This is a decision we deeply regret, to be frank. John sees enrichments on our territory along with the starts have left us with no other choice. For generations, we have proudly served the people of this great county, and we sincerely thank you for supporting our business over the years. But at the end of the day, the safety of our family comes first. With love, the Woodsons. Okay. I know I must protect my place. I'll keep my rifle by my side. After they see what's left of you, the rest of the sinners will know their place. And that's by the side of the Father. And now we go save her. Hey, ma'am. Oh, oh, yeah. Where are we gonna get a chunk of this region cleared already? Part of it's probably because we went and got Boomer. Uh, secure the Woodson farm. Oh yeah, because people are gonna come and try taking it. I love the battle music for John's region too, by the way. It's really good. <laughs> Joke's on you, bitch. Actions like these are sparking the resistance. Those people are stronger today because of you. Just like the story of David and Goliath. You're inspiring real courage. Keep it up. Thank you. John, are you gonna yell at me? Please, I wanna see my boy. Y'all got a pitch in it. Yes! It drives us to do unspeakable acts. I know the feelings that drive you. I know them intimately. Deputy. I can wash away these sins. I can cleanse your soul. It will be difficult, and it will be painful, but it will be worth it. My people will come for you. They will bring you to me. Don't fight it. Because the harder you resist, well, the harder will have to scrub your soul. Hold on. Not these guys. It's not these guys. Take me to your lair. I wanna Today, see the boy. Today I held the hands of the hostages you saved. And we prayed. Prayed for God to keep the windows of opportunity open. This way. There's people out there that or... need us. No. The more this way. we save, the more of a chance we have in this fight. I'll what? provide the shelter. And you? It's Deputy Hunt. You're the flock. Where are they? Where are they? Capture, not kill. Hit yes. with the bullets. Yep, absolutely. I'm here. Take me. Take me! Thank you! Yes! Take me! I want to see my son! No, don't hit me with the gun! <laughs> this guy's shooting me! They can't kill me because they got the- they got the bliss on me! Uh, can I kill this guy? No. They got me. Yay! We get to see my boy! Let's go see him! An awful son. Oh, 
only two paths left. Salvation and death. I can't wait to go see my fucking nightmare child. Not for us to judge. Deliver them unto the waters. Yay. The cleansing begins tonight. Yay, the cleansing. Where my boy? Shoes are getting wet. Hi! Hi! Not this one. Oh no, don't do this to me. This one's not clean. Wait, no! John, no, come on, don't drown me. Come on, I thought we were bros. I am your parent! <sighs> don't do it. You mock the cleansing, John. Do you mock the cleansing, John? Fuck off, Joseph. No, Joseph. You have to love them, John. Do not let your sin prevent that. Bring no one to me. Joseph's a fucking piece of shit. What the fuck is that, bitch? I'm flying over to you. Hi, Joseph. It's been a while since we last talked. Despite all that you have done, you are not beyond salvation. At least this time you put a shirt on. You're not here by accident or by chance. Mm -hmm. You are here by the grace of God. Yeah. You've been given a gift. Mm -hmm. Now it remains to be seen whether you choose to embrace it or to cast it aside. I don't know. What gift are you talking about? This one shall reach the atonement. Or the gates of Eden shall be shut to the jar. Fuck you, Joseph. Yes, Joseph. Go fucking suck a dick, you fucking piece of shit. I hope you burn in fire. I hope he dies. No, it's okay, my boy. I'll reach atonement, I promise. I'll do it just for you. Don't listen to him. He's a shitty sibling. He will confess. Mm hmm. Every sin you've ever committed, no matter how petty, no matter how small, I will pull from you. I will do it out of spite, just for just for you, boy. Just no for you, my boy. Of atonement. We're gonna make Joseph eat his fucking words. Don't you? Don't, don't wait about it, John. Don't worry. I'm doing it for you. I'm confessing for you. <laughs> oh my god. I could go on a whole fucking rant. Like, I know, like, it's all jokey-jokey and fun times and all that, but... If we just confess, if we confess right away, we'll be okay, right? No. You'll make it worse. Why? Because confession oh, without pain this. isn't confession. You'll scream out your sin, and you'll wear it on your flesh before John peels it off of you. Fun it's a beautiful times. thing. Fucking Peggy's. You're a piece of shit, man. Don't fucking. Yeah. Bad times. Lord, the great collapse won't be our end. Come on, get me out of this car. Um, the way John treats Joe's. Uh, sorry. The way Joseph treats John legitimately makes my blood boil. Like, it's all fun- I mean, in, in this channel, it's all fun times, happy fun stuff, you know? <laughs> and show them no mercy. Hi, Jerome, it's good to see you again. Foreshadowing. 
stay with me. Didn't go through all this trouble just to lose you now. Hell yeah, man. Let's go do this shit. Do I have any of my weapons from before? Or am I starting anew? Because I know that's how... Okay, so, um, the way Joseph treats John makes my blood absolutely fucking boil. Like, Joseph, Joseph's done shittier stuff, don't get me wrong, and John's an incredibly shitty person. Um, uh, he's, John, John, like I said in the beginning of this Let's Play, John is my favorite character in Far Cry 5. I absolutely love him, but John's also, like, one of the biggest pieces of shit ever. The the thing about John though is John's also like scarily super relatable when it comes to a lot of shit that he's been through and a lot of the shit that he goes through now and just like some of the stuff with the way he thinks. And like there's not really too much that I kind of want to give away just because they're too personal. But, um, if you don't know John's, like, backstory, and they don't really talk about it too much in here, uh, John is, John's, so John's the youngest, uh, younger brother of Joseph and Jacob. Uh, Joseph's the middle child, Jacob's the oldest. And he was five when Jacob was sent off to juvenile detention, and Joseph was adopted by somebody else and John got adopted before Joseph. Joseph just like went to like foster family to foster family but John was adopted by a rich couple called the Duncans who were very rich but they were also religious zealots and they were god fucking awful. He um he was basically religiously tortured by them uh, because they thought, because he went from a bad family, and then because of what Jacob did, it was obviously also John's fault. So, he, um, was essentially tortured by them for all of his life up until, like, he became an adult. And because of, like, all that, like, constant interrogation and abuse that he got from them, he was able to act as... He basically got a chameleon complex, and he was able to become what people wanted him to be. And what also, with all that abuse, made him hate himself so much that he act actively tried killing, like, his old life. And that's how uh, Joseph found him, because he found him uh, basically gentrifying uh, their childhood home. And Joseph convinced them to join the cult and to, like, you know, stop being this, like, guy who hides around and be himself, essentially. But part of the issue with Joseph and not realizing that maybe joining a cult isn't the best thing to do when you've been abused your whole life is uh, to be like, hey, we're gonna start a cult, not take you to therapy, like, you should be going to therapy. And, um, jo John has a lot of anger compared to when he was a child. Because, at least Joseph's description of John, John wasn't really a bad kid. He was a super, like, sweet, innocent boy. And his abuse made him into, essentially, a monster. And, John- Joseph's manipulating his siblings. It's flat out, I- I 100% believe he is fully manipulating his siblings. He does it to Faith. We've already seen it with Faith. He, uh, Jacob, same thing. John is- John, we literally just fucking witnessed that shit. Um, we're going to be finding some more stuff from Joseph later that, like, confirms it. I hardcore believe that Joseph is a piece of shit who just wanted to manipulate his siblings to their deaths. Lead them to their deaths so he could have his stupid vision from God come true. And I fucking hate, absolutely hate, like- I, Faith, I think Faith has the worst under the back compared to uh, John, Joseph Brothers. I absolutely despise how Joseph treats John. And, like, it's all, like, it's super fucking relatable. And, like, when I read John's backstory, I was like, oh, like, that shit fucking hurted because without getting into too much details of kind of my own life. I mean, not, not currently. I'm in a pretty good spot right now. 
but like for a while, like it's it's super fucking relatable. And Joseph's treatment of John is super fucking relatable, and the chameleon complex is super fucking relatable. But okay, before I continue, I could talk about John all day. Before I get to get really anything about that, we're going to read that note, talk to Pastor Jerome, and finish this mission. So, I'm sorry about that. Rallying call! For a moment, our blessed flags covered all land here. We filled this pocket of the world with truth and justice. We put an end to the falsehood and tyranny of oppressive fools. The coalition of ignorant souls who despise us will so will not stop. Even as the collapse grows closer, the non-believers will come. They will slay the innocent ones among us to stop what we are doing. Be our shield. Do everything to protect us from them. Hell yeah. I have a plan. Let's go. I knew it meant trouble when we couldn't reach you. I'm glad the Lord pointed me in the right direction. We got you back, but there's still others that need our help. Cult's moving the rest of the prisoners up the road. They got Merle too. Time's wasting. Grab what you can and go save them. I'll call in some of our people. We're gonna need them if we're gonna pull this off. Yeah. Steady now, steady. But yeah, no, John, John, I think that's kind of the shittier thing about convi of Joseph convincing his brother to join a cult. Like, maybe not with, not, maybe not so much with Jacob, because Jacob has a different backstory, which we'll talk about when, um, we can talk about when we get to, uh, Jacob's region. Um, but considering, like, all of his abuse has been religious related and a confession related and all that stuff. It's really fucking shitty that these are the expectations Joseph has for him. And it's just not healthy at all. And like, none of the stuff that the seeds are doing is healthy for them. Like, yeah, they're villains. They're villains. I'm just a very empathetic person by nature. Um, that's just, that's just something, and like, I tend to read into things with characters and stuff, uh, a bit too fucking much, but none of, none of the seed siblings, I'm, 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 I'm excluding Joseph out of this, when I'm saying seed siblings, I'm not including Joseph in any of this, because I think Joseph got the, like, better end of the bat compared to his other siblings. It's kind of like, it's kind of like... I mean, to me, the way I see it, it's kind of like telling somebody who has, like, chronic depression to just be happy. And that's what it feels like with me, with, like, Joseph's whole thing with his siblings. Rather than getting them the actual, like, help they needed with all the shit they dealt with, he's just like, join the cult, pr pledge yourself to me, and stop being dicks, because I'm telling you to. But also, continue being dicks, because these are the expectations I have for you. So it's just this like whole backwards mindset that honestly like infuriates me about Joseph to like no fucking end. And I think Joseph's a great character. He's he's a really well written character and he's one of my like favorite ones for this game. But like liter if I ever if I ever had to meet like Joseph Seed as a person, like <laughs> Whoa boy howdy. That would not be- that would not be fun. Um, so now we're here. And... Okay. No problem. Box in the explosive. Yep, we'll be good, dude. Uh-huh. So we're gonna- I'm hitting all the places that they usually come in from. And then, we also got- Shoot, don't wanna fall down there. We kinda don't want them to reach that. Yeah, I'm not good with the sniper. Use the mortar. 
Yeah, here I'll use it real quick. I think that was Meryl talking. Yeah, so this is Meryl. He's, uh, he's not in this game too much. Um, he's just a regular, regular boy doing stuff. Oh, didn't mean to say that. Oh well. We only gotta survive for another 20 seconds. Kill you. Kill you. Ticks are up there. Fuck you. Where my helicopter? There we go. There. That'll distract their buddies. We're going up there, Meryl? Let's go, Meryl. You Meryl from The Walking Dead? He died like season three, season four ish? Season three. I know my Walking Dead. Here, you go on in. Or I'll just go in. Come on, Meryl. Boy! Boy! Get rid of that fucking mullet. You're welcome. <laughs> but yeah, no. I really like John. We'll be seeing him again. We got one more encounter with him, and then we'll have his final one. He doesn't have as many uh, encounters as Faith and, um, he doesn't have any main counters as John's, um, John's encounters are more interactive than Jacob and, uh, Jacob and Faith's. But... If you don't want to count Jacob's trials, because Jacob, Jacob, you do do stuff at the end of each of his encounters. This guy's talking. <laughs> but yeah, no. So John's next one's really fun. I think his second encounter out of all the encounters in this game is my fa or is my favorite one. Um, not because I really like John, but his is legitimately like really fun. It's um, it involves going into his bunker. Which is pretty cool because you wake up in this bunker and this next encounter. Um, but yeah, I really like John. Fuck Joseph. And that's his first encounter. So now we got a bunch of stuff to do before we get on to his next one.